All right, let's talk about what Figma is for and what it's not for. Um, it is amazing at rapid prototyping of things like websites and apps. Okay, it does do other things, which we'll cover a little bit, um, but it is the main tool of a UX or UI designer, okay? And their role in the creation of either wireframes, which we'll do in this course, okay? Of really quick kind of look and feel for an app or a website through to kind of like really, like it looks exactly like a website, high fidelity mockups of this website with interactivity as well, okay? And this kind of leads me to where it doesn't do. You can make something that looks very like a website, enough so that you can go out to testing. And that's probably the, the, the best bit about Figma and UX in general, is that we'll create something and then we'll actually be able to get it in the hands of the client, uh, the intended audience, okay, our customers, and they can, it's not gonna be complete, okay, but they'll be able to use it enough that we can make some observations and actually test some theories about what, you know, they think, um, the, you know, what the users want. And if things need to be changes, we can change them really quickly in Figma and then get them back to them, like why they're sitting there. Okay, so it is about rapid prototyping, quick, you know, uh, changes and get to a point where you're like satisfied with the website or the app and you're like, this has gone through a bit of user testing, client's happy with it. Now, this is where Figma doesn't do anything else, okay? It is just the prototype. Um, it's not gonna code the website for you or the app, okay? It hands over little pieces to the developer to use, okay? CSS and SVGs and graphics and stuff, um, but not a lot that the developer can use. They'll end up kind of starting from scratch using your mockups, okay? And they'll use a lot of things like spacing and they'll make it look like your app, okay? But um, that's what Figma doesn't do, okay? It doesn't do the coding side. So what you do is you get it kind of signed off with the client and then you either work with a developer, if you're a developer yourself, you start coding it, um, or you might start, like if you're, you might get into HTML and CSS, I got a course on that. If you wanna start doing your own stuff, okay? Or you might be using something like WordPress or Webflow, okay? I've got courses on the horizon for both of those two, or Wix or something more drag and drop, okay? You then have to build it based on your Figma mockup that you've, it's a lot faster to do, then go and build it either in one of those tools or code it. So that's what it is, rapid prototyping, okay? And what it's not is you're not gonna have a complete site at the end. That's a question I get asked a lot, so. Next video. Actually, I forgot one thing. <laughs> don't go away, edit it, don't cut it. Uh, what else is it getting used for? Figma is getting used a lot for like just regular or graphic design mainly in the digital space, so like social media campaigns. There's some amazing things you'll, you'll see it as you go through the course. You'll be like, this would be really handy for doing Instagram story posts or carousels or a bunch of different sizes for ads. It is getting really good at that. It doesn't do very good print stuff. You can put a normal page into it. You can say A4 or US letter. Okay, so while people are using it as an alternative for something like maybe Illustrator and a bit of Photoshop, Photoshop's still required, but um, You'll see it. it's made for designing websites and um, apps, but people are using it for all sorts of other stuff now. It's coming, not a general design tool, but know that you will find some people using it a lot more for things that it's not meant to, but it does it just perfect. All right, so that's what it is. That's what it isn't. Now this is the end. Cut. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.